Thank you everybody for joining Illinois Squash Workouts on the weekends. Um, today we have Sabrina Sobe, um, Harvard um, College class of 2019 and world number 29. We're super excited to have her join from her hometown and I'll turn it over to you, Sabrina. Great, thank you so much. We'll get started. If you guys have mats, you can see that on the end of it. And we'll start with like a little yoga warm up so you can just Start by bringing your arms up and stretching your back foot on your tippy toes. Do a nice big stretch and then go down and touch your toes. Hang here for a little bit. Stretch the hamstrings. Relax the head. And then bring the arms back up. We'll repeat that. Deep breaths in. Reach for the sky. Another forward fold down to your toes. Now you can walk your hands out and be in downward dog position. And just have a few deep breaths here. And go into a high plank. And lower down to the ground and come up into an upward dog. Where your chest is out. Lifting here a bit. And then push back up into a downward dog. A good deep breath in. And then when you exhale, bring your right foot up to your hands in the lunge. Touch here. <laughs> You can keep your left hand on the ground and then twist and reach that right hand up to the sky. And then twist back, bring the right leg back and now bring the left leg forward and repeat on the other side. Again, keep the right hand on the ground, twist up, bring that left hand to the sky. Get it a nice twist. And then bring the other hand back. And bring the legs back and then kind of walk your hands back towards your feet. And hopefully everybody here is feeling a little looser after that. So now we can get started. We're gonna first start with the static strength component. So the first exercise, it's just gonna be a forward lunge. So you'll be standing and then just gonna work one leg at a time. So I'll just run through the exercises. We're gonna do 30 seconds on one leg and then straight into 30 seconds on the other leg. And then we'll repeat that three times. So we'll get started, that'll be the first component and then the next exercise we'll do a backwards lunge again same one leg that will look like this and then you'll bring your knee up and then the last exercise will just be a split lunge which is in a lunge position stay in this position and then you'll just move up and down but the first exercise that we have is the forward lunge and we'll do that 30 seconds each leg, three times. So I'll start the timer. We're all ready. Hopefully everyone understands. So on three, two, one, begin. Just one leg at the moment for 30 seconds. Make sure that knee doesn't surpass those toes when you go into a lunge. And then that quad, engage that quad to push off. 10 more seconds and we'll repeat and switch to the next leg in three, two, one, and switch. After this, we're going back to the other leg for the second round. Three, 
two, one, and switch. Round two. Good job guys, keep it up, we have 10 more seconds and then we're switching back to the other leg again. Three, two, one, switch. These exercises are good if you wanna add any weights. That's encouraged as well. To challenge yourself a little bit, you have 15 seconds. And then we're gonna repeat other leg for round three. So it's three minutes of continuous leg strength. Ready and switch. Last round. Fifteen seconds left. Try and engage that core as well. And keep that back straight. Five seconds. Switching for the last set. And switch. After this, we'll get a 45 second rest. And then we'll go straight into the next lunge routine. Halfway there, 15 seconds left. Keep up the good work. 10 to go. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job. Hopefully everyone's vibing and doing well. The next exercise is a backwards lunge. So you're gonna lunge backwards and then bring your knee up. And we're gonna keep that same pattern of 30 seconds on each leg for three sets. Okay, we have 15 seconds left of this rest. And then we'll begin. If you have any questions, just let me know. 10 more seconds. I feel the burn. Ready? Three, two, one, and begin. Again, one leg, bring your knee up, or work, working one leg for 30 seconds, and then we'll switch. I like incorporating, bringing the knee up, driving the knee up, because it practices and strengthens your balance as well, and your core. 10 seconds left, and we're switching to the other leg. And switch. Fifteen seconds left. And then we're going back to the same the leg that we started with. Five, four, three, two, and switch. Fifteen seconds left. I'm gonna go switch back to the other leg. Five seconds to go. Keep driving that knee. Switch. Good work guys, you have 10 seconds, and we'll start round three. And switch. Last minute of work. Keep 
Keep driving the knee up, 15 seconds left. Five. And switch. Last exercise. Job, 10 more seconds left. Five, three, two, one, and rest. Good job. Good work, guys. That was great. So, the last thing, we have 45 seconds rest again, and then we'll do the last strength exercise as a split lunge. So, you're just going to hold this lunge position and then Move up and down. Again, 30 seconds each leg, three times, so three minutes of work again. Same routine. 10 seconds left. Good job. Keep it up. Three, two, one, and begin. Keep that core engaged. And try and keep the back straight as much as you can. 15 seconds left. We'll switch legs. Three, two, one, and switch. Good job, guys. Keep it up. The legs hopefully are burning. 10 seconds. Then we'll start the second set. And switch. job. Keep it up. Hopefully everyone's managing. Keep pushing. 10 seconds and then we're going to switch legs again. Five, four, three, two, and switch. Almost done. Keep pushing. After this, we have our last round. Legs are burning. Ten seconds, and we're switching. I see some people incorporating swings. It's a great idea. And switch. Last minute. Keep it up, guys. Good work. Fifteen seconds left. It's not easy. You guys are doing great. Three, two, one, switch. Last thirty seconds. Twenty to go. Last 10, keep pushing, five, four, three, two, and rest. Great work. So take a minute, rest, while I explain the next exercise. That was great, good job guys. Grab some water, catch your breath. The next thing that we're gonna do is a little Tabata circuit. So um, what's happening here is you know, 
We're gonna be working for 20 seconds, resting for 10, and we're gonna alternate between two exercises. So the first round will be mountain climbers. I'll demonstrate. Just driving the knee up like this. Hopefully everyone can see. Um, we're gonna go from mountain climbers into burpees. I'll demonstrate that as well. Bring your legs out and then jump up. So we'll do 20 seconds of mountain climbers, rest for 10, and then 20 seconds of burpees. We'll do that three rounds. And if anybody has like a sore wrist, do you have any suggestions for um, alternatives? Yeah, you could, after the mountain climbers, I think you can just hold a plank, if that's better, on your forearms to avoid any uh, wrist injuries or irritation, so. Perfect, thank you. Okay, ready to begin? We're starting with mountain climbers in three, two, one, and go. 20 seconds of work. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest. Ten seconds, and then we'll go into burpees or a plank. Three, two, one, and begin. Five seconds left, and rest. Good job, that was round one, two more sets. Back on the ground for mountain climbers. Three, two, one, begin. Ten seconds left. And rest. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Good work. Three seconds. Next exercise, burpees or plank. Begin. Five seconds. And rest. One more set. One more minute of work. Back on the ground for mountain climbers. Three, two, one, go. Less than 10. Five seconds left. And rest. Begin, ready, go. Last 20 seconds. Ten more seconds. Keep it up. Two. One and rest. Good job, guys. Great work. We have another Tabata circuit like that for you. The first one, first exercise will be fast feet. So it'll just be pretend you have an imaginary line and then you just move one foot forward, the other will follow, and then one foot back. So hopefully everyone knows what I'm saying, understands what I'm doing. Just imagine you're crossing a line forward and backwards. So that'll be the first set exercise and then the next one is just push up. So just like that. And again, if you have wrist irritations, you could do a modification in a plank. So if you hold the plank, you can bring your, your right knee to your right elbow and then your left 
knee to your left elbow to work the obliques. So that'll be an altercation if your hands are um, irritated from the push-ups. But if everyone gets it, we can begin in three, two, one with the fast feet. Then 20 seconds on, 10 off. Alternating between the two exercises. The work, five seconds on. And rest. Push-ups or plank in five seconds. Three, two, one, begin. Five seconds. And rest. Good work. That's the first round. We have two more to go. So back to the fast feet movement. Ready and begin. Good work, guys. Five more seconds. And rest. Back on the mat. Three, two, one, begin. Ten seconds to go. Keep it up. Keep pushing. Three. Two, one, rest. Nice work, last round. Back up for the fast feet. And begin. Ten seconds left. Keep moving those arms. And rest. Last 20 seconds of work. Ready and begin. Good work, guys. Five more seconds. And rest. Good job. Great stuff. That was the second Tabata routine. We have two more to go. So the next one, the first exercise, squat jumps. So squat down, and then jump up like that. And then the next one, so we just did um, linear fast feet movement. And now we're gonna do lateral. So you will move your right foot out and then your left foot out and then back in like this. So we're working the side steps this round and then we'll just alternate between the two just like the last couple rounds that we did. So catch your breath. We'll begin in five seconds. Three, two, one, and squat jump. Ready, begin. Ten seconds left, good job, keep it up. Three, two, one, and rest. I swear, 10 seconds off. Now the last, last feet movement. The squat jump, should we land on our heels or our toes? Or are you landing in the middle? Um, you can land on the balls of your feet, so on your, on your toes. Awesome. Ready? And begin for the lateral fast feet movement. Yeah, and these, again, you can be on your toes as much as you can and push with the speed you can. 
and rest. Starting round two, ready, begin. Okay, you can land on your toes. You keep it, you can keep those heels up. It'll help with the explosion. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice work, back to the lateral feet movements. Three, two, one, and begin. Pump those arms, move those feet quicker. Five seconds. And rest. Good work, one more round of that. We'll begin. Catch your breath. Three, two, one, back to squat jumps. Five seconds to go. And rest. Nice work. Back to the fast feet. Three, two, one, and begin. Last five seconds. And rest. Nice, great work guys. We have one more Tabata exercise where we finish off with some core and some balance. So the last exercise, we're alternating between high knees. So you're just driving the knees up like this, one at a time. And then we'll go on the mat and do shoulder tap. So you'll be in a high plank and then tap each shoulder. And if your hands or wrists are hurting, and again, you can be in a plank position and you can actually go into a side plank for each of the 20 seconds. So now we'll change it up from if you had to do a, just a normal plank before, but if everyone gets it, we can begin for the last Tabata in three, two, one, and go. The high knees. Last three minutes of work. Good job, guys. Keep pushing. Three, two, one, and rest. Down on the mat for some shoulder taps. Three, two, one, and begin. You want to keep your, try and keep your hips as stable as possible when you reach for those shoulders. 10 more seconds. Engage the core and rest. Back to high knees for round two. Keep pushing, good job guys. Ready and begin. Keep it up, five more seconds, and rest. Back to the shoulder taps. Three, two, one, begin. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Good work. Round three, last round. We'll begin in three, 
two, one, high knees. Five seconds to go. And rest. Last 20 seconds of work coming up. To the shoulder taps. Ready, begin. Ten more seconds to go. Keep it up. And get back straight and flat. And rest. Good work, guys. Finish the Tabata. Open. Bread. <laughs> the wind's feeling good. Grab some water. We have, um, I like to finish off with some core and some balance stuff. Um, we're going to do some more planks. A lot of planks happening this morning. But what we're going to do is three rounds of a minute plank. So the first one will just be a normal static plank. And then we're gonna go into 30 seconds of flutter kicks. So you'll turn over onto your back and bring the, extend the legs out and then just move them up and down to engage the lower core. And then the last. For the, uh, that water kick, do you keep your neck, your head up? Um. You don't have to, you can leave it on okay. the ground. Yeah. Okay. Um, in the last, the balance part of this, you're going to be in what's called an airplane position. So you're going to have one foot on the ground and then you're going to try and keep your back leg up and parallel and extend the arms out. So we'll do 30 seconds of each leg. Okay, and then we'll repeat that three times. So we'll start with a minute plank. Everyone's ready. Three, two, one, and begin. Engage the core, keep the back flat. The first one we'll just do as a static plank, and then we'll alternate the next round into something a little different. You're halfway there now, 30 seconds to pass, 30 seconds to go. Fifteen seconds left, keep it up. Nearly there. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Get a 15 second rest while we flip over onto our backs for 30 seconds of flutter kicks. Ready? And begin. Now you can keep your head on the ground and just move your legs up and down. Try and keep the back on the ground as much as possible as it tries to arch itself during the exercise. Ten seconds left. Keep moving. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Back onto the feet. For the balance, so everybody can get positioned. We'll begin and go. Try and keep your back as flat as you can, your leg out, and then your arms out as well. Then we'll hold this position for 30 seconds. 10 seconds to go, and then we'll go straight into the other leg. 
three, two, one, and switch. The objective to have your upper body and your one leg out to be perpendicular to the standing leg. Should be difficult after all the leg work that we did earlier. And rest. Good work. We have two more rounds of that and then we're done. So get back on the mat for a plank. We're going to change the plank movement into an up and down plank. So we'll start on our forearms and then change into a high plank and then go back down to the forearms. Okay, so we'll begin in three, two, one, and go. So up, changing from a high plank to a low plank. Good work, we have 40 more seconds. Keep it up, guys. Almost done. Putting in the work Sunday morning. Love to see it, 30 more seconds. Fifteen to go. Keep it up. It's good for strengthening the shoulders as well, which is important in squash. Five more seconds. And then we're flipping over onto our backs. Ready, rest. Set your breath. Moving to flutter kicks. Ready and begin. Try and keep your legs as low as possible. It makes it more difficult. Fifteen to go. Five seconds left. And rest. Good work. Back to the balance. Let everybody get up. <laughs> Under the feet. Almost done. Ready? And begin. One more set after this. And I will let you guys go. Thanks for joining in with me. Not done yet. Ten more seconds, and then we're switching straight into the other leg. Get arms out, ready, and switch. My leg's shaking a little bit, but engage the core. Ten more seconds. Keep up the good work. Three, two, one, and rest. Great job, guys. Back onto the mat for our last set. We're going to go into a plank again. But this time, we're going to do what's called the uh, Spider Man plank. So you'll be in a forearm plank. Then you'll just Bring the right knee to the right elbow. This works the obliques. So we'll hold that for one minute. Ready and begin. Alternating between the right and the left leg. Good job. Keep it up. 40 seconds to go. Keep breathing. Keep rotating as well. 
I'm halfway there. The end is near. Fifteen seconds left. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Great work, guys. Not easy. Almost done. Flip over onto the backs for our last set of flutter kicks. So begin in three, two, one. Work halfway there. Ten more seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest. Great work. Last minute, 30 seconds each leg for balance. We'll begin. Ready, go. Ten more seconds. Straight into the next leg. Three, two, one, and switch. Keep it up. Good work. Twenty seconds left. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest. Great work, guys.